Greetings! In this lesson, we'll talk about functional capabilities of 1C ERP, which help to manage companies' business processes. Let's start with the planning subsystem. The planning subsystem in 1C ERP supports coordinated work of enterprise departments to plan and execute sales and operations plans. The planning subsystem helps to create sales and operations plans based on statistics, budgets, previous plans, customer and production orders, or external sources. Based on the plans, you can create purchase, production, or transfer orders, perform plan fact analysis, and use planning data in budgeting. 1C ERP supports multi-scenario planning with the opportunity to create goal-oriented and controlling plans. A user can configure the rules how to fill the plan with data, for example, using historical data, calculating the formula, importing data from the external source, or just fill the plan manually. You can plan the stock balance based on planned material receipts and expenditures. The planning subsystem checks the accuracy of the plan and how it balances demand with supply. Upon implementing the plan, the user can perform a plan versus actual analysis. Demand Fulfillment Subsystem defines the source and supply dates for merchandise, production materials, and components. The setup of this subsystem includes two main objects – the Supply Scheme and Demand Fulfillment Method. Supply Scheme defines the source department for the inventory item and the Demand Fulfillment Method. You assign the Supply Scheme to an SKU and to a warehouse. The demand fulfillment method determines the sourcing methods for the SKU, for example, purchase, production, or transfer, and supply lead time. Also, demand fulfillment subsystem controls the inventory stock level and creates orders for inventory replenishment when required. Demand fulfillment subsystem also provides production with the necessary resources. It helps to reduce costs of goods storage and delivery and to increase the customer service level. This subsystem helps the enterprise to function smoothly and at the same time reduce costs caused by the inflated level of inventory. The purchases subsystem helps to manage procurement operations. Procurement process in 1C ERP starts from the agreement with the supplier. Then you place a purchase order and process a supplier invoice. With the purchases subsystem, you can change the assignment of goods, in other words, the purchase of goods. Also, you can issue return materials documents if you have to reject the supplied goods and return them to the vendor. Next, let's look at the key features of the purchases subsystem. In the Purchases subsystem, you can select a supplier for specific goods, store and monitor supplier prices, keep supplier agreements and contracts. With this subsystem, you keep records for purchase orders and process supplier invoices. Based on the invoices received from suppliers, you create payment requests. Moreover, in the purchasing subsystem, you can process consignment goods being received from a principal and issue documents for the goods return. The manufacturing subsystem helps to manage the production process of a different level of complexity, from a simple one, that is one stage, to rather complex, a hierarchical process. The production management is operated at two levels. Enterprise level, at which we create a production plan, form production orders, calculate the production schedule, and divide the process into stages. Shop floor level, at this level we plan production operations within stages. Here we can use the MES methodology, that is, Manufacturing Execution Systems methodology. The manufacturing subsystem uses MRP2 principles, that is, manufacturing resource planning. Among the benefits of the manufacturing subsystem in 1C ERP, we should point out a flexible, symmetric, or signaling control system, which notifies about manufacturing workflow in time.
Therefore, it helps a manager analyze and correct problematic and loss-making stages. A technological production process is described by means of operations sheets and bill of resources. The production dispatcher can manage the manufacturing by separate batches. We can maintain different manufacturing models, process or discrete. All the production process can be easily tracked in one CERP that allows avoiding bottleneck. The manufacturing subsystem helps to develop the production schedule, taking into account the resource availability. Managers can plan order execution, calculating the accurate terms of their fulfillment. Therefore, customer satisfaction increases. We can account direct material and labor costs to calculate the total production cost of finished products. The warehouse and delivery subsystem is responsible for inventory storage and logistics management. This subsystem helps to manage the delivery from the supplier to our warehouse and from our warehouse to the customer. The subsystem is also used for warehouse management. Warehouse in 1C ERP can have a simple or complex structure with a division into ware rooms and the use of storage bins. We can apply reference address warehousing and monitor stock balance in the bins and stock balance for an item for each location and bin. The warehouse subsystem was created according to the WMS principles, that is, Warehouse Management Systems principles. When managing warehouse in 1C ERP, we have the following capacities. Comprehensive warehouse structure that includes ware rooms, storage bins, and work areas. Separate storage for different types of goods. Milk, fish, ice cream, furniture, and others. Various strategies of selection are used to optimize goods receiving, acceptance, and placement of goods and bins. There are also operations for goods picking, packaging, and shipment, as well as an internal goods transfer. Among the benefits, we should also mention multi-step process of stock taking and process optimization of outbound logistics. CRM and marketing subsystem is designed for collecting information, analyzing, and controlling interactions with customers. This subsystem manages the relationship with customers from the initial call, email, or meeting to the conclusion of the contract and invoicing. At the same time, we can control the process step by step and analyze the result of interaction. One CERP helps to monitor marketing activities and track the effectiveness of channels of advertising impacts. With the CRM subsystem, we can create pre-sale process templates, register contacts with new partners, and store partner information on counterparties and their employees, and history of the interaction with them. With the help of the system, you can also plan marketing events and create SMS and mailing campaigns. We'll be easily managing sales, including business pre-sale projects, transactions with clients, it also helps to analyze Salesforce efficiency. The CRM system allows tracking leads and control their conversion into real sales. Sales Funnel is a special tool for controlling conversion of leads. There are also opportunities to make reports and have flexible pricing with discounts and mockups. The sales subsystem is closely connected with the CRM subsystem and manages the sales of goods and services process. The sales process starts with a quotation to the customer. This is followed by opening a sales order and invoicing. At the same time, in one CERP, the client can create an order himself, if he is granted access to the system. After the order placement, we execute sales of goods or services. We can then perform the return of goods from a customer. 1C ERP sales management capabilities are the following. We can send quotations to customers and then conclude contracts and agreements. 
receive sales orders. When an order is placed, we can make it up and ship to a customer. Manage the invoicing process and control due debt. There is a shipment ban in case of the certain amount of debt or delay in payment. We can use consignment sales, sales by commission scheme, and deal with return of goods and customer complaints.